Hey, what is going on, guys? Today I am sharing with you my top five best Assetto Corsa car mods for the month of March, ladies and gentlemen. Some of these cars I haven't driven in a while, but I've had for a while, and boy oh boy did it just remind me making this video. They are all free, and I highly recommend you download them all, so... Without further ado, let's not waste any time and get right into the first mod. Number 5 on the list is the McLaren Speedtail. The evolution of the McLaren F1 from the 90s. This car has 1,035 brake horsepower and weighs 1,400 kilograms. 0 to 100 in 2.8 seconds. And this car is an absolute rocket ship in the straight line. This car was meant for the top speed. It wasn't really meant to go around corners super fast, but boy, oh boy, driving it around the Nords uh, is super, super fun. It almost, I, I haven't driven the Nordschleifer in general in a while, but this kind of makes you just want to hop on the tourist route and just drive some street cars around. But yeah, this car, obviously predecessor to the great McLaren F1, and it is definitely lives up to its predecessor. The car model is absolutely fantastic, and it drives just how I would expect it to in real life. So overall, there is no reason why you should not download this mod. This mod can be found in the link in the description below. Number four on the list is the Reflex V12R by JH Design. This is a fictional open top prototype car that has 595 brake horsepower and weighs only 750 kilograms. This car looks, sounds, and drives amazing, and you come to expect it from JH Designs, one of the best car modders in the game, and I would say maybe with VRC, one of the best free car modders in the game. There's no reason why you shouldn't download this mod. It is absolutely amazing, and it is a joy to drive. I would actually love to do some online racing with this thing, because I think that could be very fun and very competitive. This car can be found in the race department link in the description below. Number three on this list is the Aston Martin Valhalla. This car was the brainchild of the guys at Aston Martin, as well as Adrian Newey and Red Bull Racing. This car was actually supposed to be the street legal version of Aston Martin's Le Mans hypercar that they would be debuting either this year or next year. Uh, but now Daddy Stroll owns the company, and they decided to go into F1 instead. So the whole project kind of got scrapped, but we still have production cars that are being made, and we still have this mod in a set of Corsa. So I guess that is the best that could have happened. This car's combustion engine produces 680 horsepower with an extra 320 electric horsepower coming from MGUKs as well as a 7 kilowatt hour battery. The thing only weighs 1350 kilograms and it is an absolute rocket ship in a straight line. The cornering speeds leave a little bit to be desired, but I guess for a road car where most of the time you're not going to be going over 100, you are never going to notice that this thing is just going to feel like an absolute rocket ship is under you. This car visually looks amazing. It drives amazing. It drives just looking at the thing and the amount of aero. It drives about how I would expect it to. And overall, this is just a fantastic mod. You can download it in the link in the description below. Highly recommend you check it out. Number two on the list is the VRC McLaren Honda MP44. Now, if you're a little unaware about F1 history, this car is very important because it was driven by two of the best. I don't know if you've ever heard of them before. Their names are Ayrton Senna and Alan Prost. I don't, maybe you've heard of them. I don't know. No one really talks about them. This car would go on to dominate not only the 1988 season, but McLaren as a whole would finish off the decade absolutely dominating. 
The car has 675 brake horsepower and weighs only 540 kilograms. That is 1.25 horsepower per kilogram. If that does not tell you how absolutely insane this car is to drive, then I guess you're just going to need to get on the track for yourself with it. This car, obviously, is a work of art by VRC. We all know the amazing job they do, and this car is no different. I highly recommend it. It is a free on their website, so give it a download. You will not regret it. Finally, number one on the list is a car I have had for a while, but I kind of just forgot about. It is the Janetta G55 GT4. This thing is an absolute joy to drive around the track. It has 405 brake horsepower and it weighs 1175 kilograms, obviously in GT4 spec. And I mean, who doesn't like driving GT4s, but this thing especially drives absolutely just amazing. This car was created by Sean Clark and it is an absolute miracle that this thing is free because it should be a paid mod straight up. It is that good. It has a fantastic car model. It drives amazingly. Physics are just how I would expect. And overall, it is just, it's just so fun, man. Especially in an AI race, and I would love to do an online race with this thing. It is so competitive and so fun. There is no reason why you should not have this car. It can be found in the link in the description below. Please download it. Show some support to Sean as well because this thing is absolutely fantastic. This mod can be found in the race department link in the description below. So guys, that is all I have for you for the month of March. First of all, I would like to say thank you guys for such an amazing month. We came to this month with about 60 subscribers, and as of recording, we have over 200. My goal was to just get 100 this month, and we got that about midway through, and then we've just absolutely flew our way up to 200. So thank you guys so, so much. I'm going to be giving you guys a lot more content here soon. Uh, got of very original content. I don't think anyone's really delved into this much in AC, so definitely get subscribed for that as well. Is I have a little challenge for us. I was not expecting the amount of growth this month, so I want to make it a little more fun and give myself something that I know will maybe be a little bit more of a challenge to hit. So let's see if we can have 400 subs on the channel by the end of April. That would be absolutely insane. So get subscribed. There's no reason why you shouldn't. All the Assetto Corsa mods, just everything going on in sim racing, I will cover. So yeah, this is your one-stop shop for everything Assetto Corsa and sim racing. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, guys.